Hi Paul S here, twitter.com forward slash from Paul. Just about to show you um, something I've been uh, up to yesterday. Um, the uh, Apple TV, which is currently booting up. Um, bought an Apple TV about a week ago. Uh, spent that long getting through the trailers. Um, but this Apple TV has been cracked, it's been hacked, it's 100% unofficial um, and 200% more useful than it was when I first bought it and I'm going to show you why and hopefully inspire you. So the Apple TV is booting up now, it takes a little bit longer since the uh, crack. The TV's just booted up and we're into the menu. Now uh, you probably notice if you've uh, had any dealings with an Apple TV before then this may be familiar. You can choose the various videos you want to watch and there's literally hundreds if not thousands to choose from. All well and good but there's now some extra options uh, on the menu, considerably more options actually. Um, and for example, we now have Boxy, which can be fired up from the Apple TV, and XBMC, which can also be fired up. And I'm going to show you, um, well, I'll show you Boxy first. Uh, what is Boxy? Well, Boxy is a web-based service that allows you to um, collate online media um, and um, kind of share it via Twitter and things like that. Uh, it's quite good. Still getting to grips with it. Um, you have to have a Boxy account. It's completely free to set it up. Do a Google search for Boxy. So I'm just going to log in, uh, which has happened now. Like I say, none of this possible on the standard um, Apple TV. None of it whatsoever. The Apple TV is a very, very crippled piece of hardware. It runs a cut-down version of um, OS X. And uh, basically, Apple, although they don't, you know, they don't make it terribly difficult to hack your Apple TV, it's obviously not, not advertised. <laughs> Uh, in that way. Now, obviously, here on um, Boxy, you can choose lots of different content. I've just got some installed. Uh, it does also support the BBC iPlayer, which is quite good if you're in the UK, like myself. Um, but basically, this is Juiced, another online uh, video service. And as you can see, you can basically. Um, Browse through lots and lots and lots of content. Michael Jackson trending at the moment, on Juiced just like everywhere else. Um, so you can watch pop videos. Um, you can watch uh, more movie trailers and movie features. You can also watch on-demand TV features from uh, major TV studios. Um, there's TV guides. Um, I could go on, let's have a look what else there is, Nick is there, Paranormal TV is there, should you so wish, um, lots and lots of content for you to tune in and watch, um, and I mean lots, so um, Juiced is quite good, Juiced has um, probably been around for, for over a year now, so it's quite good. Um, something else that's quite good, you can see your friends activity as well, so if I just zoom in there, uh, there's the recommended, and uh, there's your friends activity, and at the bottom there's a kind of you watched this last, there's question time with Dimbers. Um, so lots of opportunities there for you to um, consume much more media than Apple ever intended you to do. Um, let's go back. Uh, let's have a look. 
Okay, so we're just going to quit out of box E there. Back to the uh, Apple menu. And then I'll show you XBMC. This is actually a media player that was um, coded for Microsoft Xbox. Um, basically using the uh, games console hardware to decompress and display video. Um, which is quite handy really. Um, this is all connected to the internet by the way. So it goes online. These, This is all streaming online. Uh, but this uh, XBMC offers something slightly different which I'm also going to show you now. I'm going to click on videos and with thanks to uh, a little bit of fiddling you can enable the USB uh, port on the back of the Apple TV. That is incredibly handy because it means that you can plug a, a pen drive in or an external hard drive with video content on it and watch it through your Apple TV. Incredibly useful. Can't believe that Apple crippled the firmware, the, sorry, the USB port on Apple TV. What exactly? Why? It really does actually annoy me that, you know, it takes an hour or so of tinkering and fiddling and searching on Google to find out how to make something work, um, you know, the way it should really. Why? Why didn't Apple just make it work out of the box? Why do you have to hack your Apple TV in order to use the USB port that's already built onto the device? But anyway, I could waffle on for ages on that. I'm not going to. Here you go. Um, this, is, this is playing off a pen drive. Um, I'll turn it down a little bit. I know you're all avid Sky at Night uh, watchers. Uh, however, I just want to say one or two more things. Uh, this uh, video was downloaded from uh, BBC iPlayer. Uh, it's the actual iPod stream that's been um, downloaded um, for future viewing. Again, I'm not sure why the BBC don't just do that. Really annoying that they try and hack and cripple and limit the way in which people watch their programmes. Um, you know, I mean, it's such a backward step, really, in so many ways, compared to the old video recorders, which, you know, allowed you to tape a program and watch it at your convenience. The tape didn't kind of run out after 30 days. It didn't self-destruct before your eyes. Instead, you got to decide when uh, you wanted to watch your content. And equally important, you got to keep it. And um, I think... In all honesty, that you you know these companies should really look at the ways in which um, they allow us to um, to view their media. Something that's quite nice about XBMC is obviously now I'm back in the menu, but the program that I was watching still plays in the background. It's quite nice, and you can add these little widgets as well. So. Um, while my program's still playing, it's possible for me to check the weather in New York, which is always a bonus, especially watching a program that's based on the moon. So um, there we go. Anyway, that's uh, XBMC. Um, sounds a bit like an American boy band, but it isn't. Um, it's very good. Very, very good indeed. Um there's other features as well on Apple TV that I'm not going to um, bother you with because I'm kind of running out of time here on YouTube. But um, there we go. That's Apple TV cracked. That's what it looks like. Um, much more options. If you want to crack your Apple TV, it's quite a straightforward process. I must say I'm not going to accept any liability. If you do, uh, go on to Google and uh, if you look for cracking or hacking uh, Apple TV. It's a simple download that you download to a pen drive. Uh, you put the pen drive into the back of the Apple TV and switch the Apple TV on and that will do the rest for you. It's a little bit fiddly as well later on but there's plenty of forums to help you. So from uh, Apple TV and from Twitter this is me Paul Hurst saying thanks for watching and I hope uh, to see you again soon.